So this, folks, is the Porter Cable 15-inch floor drill press. It is PCB660DP as the model number. It's an 8-amp, 12-speed, 1-horsepower press. It ranges from 300 to 31 RPM. Now, you generally want to use the 3100 uh, RPM for the woods and go to a lower RPM for metal. It is 64 inches tall. It weighs 151 pounds. The table is 13.2 by 13.2 in that it's cast iron and it does tilt 45 degrees both ways. It's got a seven and a half inch swing. It uses a five eighths keyed chuck. It's got a four inch spindle travel. Uh, Porter Cable generally offers a three year warranty with this, but that's obviously gonna vary depending on where you get it, if you buy it used. Um, it does come with a laser guide and a light. Additionally, it is called a 15 inch press because it is two times the length between this, the center of this, and the column. So when you hear the model being called a 15 inch press, it means it's a seven and a half inch capability between the two. The bench top model is a one horse, one half horsepower model with two inch travel, 3.2 amp and five speed. So this model generally has a lot more power and a lot more capability. And overall, it's a bigger, bulkier unit than the bench top version. Go over some of the features of the Porter Cable drill press. The first thing I wanna show you guys is adjusting the speed and RPM. Now, obviously you wanna use the higher RPMs for wood and use the lower RPMs for metals or hard materials. So you simply pop this open. Now it does give you a little chart as a reference guide to tell you what RPM and what setting each of the belts should be at. Now the first thing you wanna do is loosen the tension knob. And there's one on each side. And then you wanna loosen the tension handle and you should see this belt start to lose tension. And there you go. So obviously we would adjust over um, whatever the proper setting is, put this back into place, and then tighten the knobs. Close, give it a test run to make sure it's working properly, and there you go, and that's how you would adjust the speed. It does have a key chuck holder that's gonna be used for changing the bits, which I'll show you in a bit. And here is one of the laser guides. So it's gonna be hard to see, but you can adjust both lasers. And you wanna do that every time the table does move. Um, right now I have the table loose. And when you do wanna, uh, let's say you do wanna tighten the table, you have a good position for it. You simply go to this back handle, and tighten right there. Now the table won't move. And let's say you wanna move it up and down, you simply loosen this. You could go to this. and have it go up and down whatever way you want to go. Here is the lamp. It does have an adjustable arm. I don't use the lamp clearly. Uh, this is your depth gauge. What's good about this is it does have a quick version. So simply press this in and you go whatever depth stop you want. And then if you want to uh, fine tune it, you just screw, uh, screw up or screw down. And this basically will stop at whatever depth you want. So. It does have a separate laser uh, switch, which is good in case you may not want it or you don't use it. And here is the switch for the lamp, which again, I don't use. Uh, but overall, this is a sturdy drill press. It does need its separate space. I wouldn't recommend putting this on um, any type of rolling stand or whatnot. It is a heavy duty piece of equipment and it's best having its own space. Next, let's go over the drill in use and um, show you some of the tips I do when using this drill press. Now, I do tend to tighten the drill bits by hand before bringing in the chuck to tighten it fully. And also, you do want to make sure you have a sacrificial, sacrificial piece of wood. This will prevent the Forstner bits or bigger bits from hitting the cast iron table. And you do want to make sure that the drill stop is set. Another thing to take note is make sure your table is set, otherwise this may swing on you, causing you to drill in the wrong place and ruining your project. So my drill was a little wobbly here. Uh, that's because we had it in a plank in the garage, so it's beautiful. Now that's one precise hole. So what are my overall thoughts about the show press? It is a very good tool to have in your shop. It's got plenty of power. I really haven't run into um, any material that I couldn't get through. 
it is uh, bigger and does have a bigger footprint than the benchtop model. So take that into consideration when uh, deciding between this or the benchtop model and what type of material you are going to be drilling into. But overall, it is a really good tool to have. It's sturdy. Uh, the features are really easy to use, and I would definitely recommend checking this out. As always, go ahead and leave a like, and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, and check out my other videos, and have a great day.